Hello sports fans, welcome to Super Sports Central. Today with my week 14 MLB power rankings. So going over last week's rankings and what those teams did over the past week. Last week number 10 was the Minnesota Twins. They went 3-3 three and three over the past week. They took 2 of 3 against the White Sox and then won 1 of 3 against the Rangers. So something I've noticed throughout the season for the Twins is they're a borderline top 10 team. Um, always either just inside the top 10 or just outside the top 10. 9 was the Red Sox. Um, not the greatest week. They went 3-4. and four. Um, They took 1-3 of three against the Reds and split a 4-game series against the Yankees. 2 was the Rays. They went 2-4 and four with their 2 wins against the Red Sox. Um, so 1 loss against the Red Sox, and they were swept by the Reds, who are one of the worst teams in baseball. 7 was the Padres. Uh, they went 2-4 and four over the past week, another team with not the greatest week. Um, so they were swept by the Mariners in a 2-game series. By the way, the Mariners are on an 8-game winning streak. Um, and then the Padres also split a four-game series with the Giants. Six was the Brewers. Um, they didn't have the greatest week. Another team with not a good week. Two and four. Uh, the Brewers won one of three against each of the Pirates and Cubs. Five was the Braves. They had a great week going six and one. Uh, they swept the Nationals in three games and took three of four against the Cardinals. Four was the Dodgers. They're on a seven-game winning streak and had a perfect 7-0 record last week. They swept the Rockies in three games and then swept the Cubs in four. Three was the Mets. They went four and three over the past week. They split a four-game series with the Marlins and took two of three against the Reds. Two was the Astros. They went five and two over the past week. They took two of three against the A's and took three of four against the Royals. And one was the Yankees. They went three and three over the past week. They split a two-game series against the Pirates and then split a four-game series with the Red Sox. So this week's rankings. At number 10, we have the Rays. They are sliding down to number 10 after not having the greatest week, but they will remain slightly in the top 10. Nine is the Twins. Um, they are jumping up one spot. They only went 3-3, three and three, but um, because some teams uh, like the Rays didn't have great weeks, they are going to jump up one spot. Eight is the Red Sox. They are moving up one spot, and what really... Moved them up was two good wins against the Yankees and finishing off the week strong with wins on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, seven is the Padres. So the Padres and Brewers will remain at seven and six, respectively. Um, they will stay there. Even though they didn't have great weeks, I have no reason to move them up or down. Because I don't think I could put the Red Sox all the way up to six. But I definitely can't put the Brewers or Padres any higher. Five is the Braves. They had a good enough week to move up, but I don't think I can move them up at all higher than 5. Although I may be able to next week because they have a big series against the Mets today, starting today. Um, and also, they've really cut the... Um, they've made the uh, NL East uh, gap really, really small. I think it's down to 2.5 games. So, uh, it is definitely no longer a Mets... Definitely the Mets division. The Braves have made it very, very competitive. And speaking of the Mets, they come in at number 4. Um, so they are sliding down to number 4. I think the Dodgers and Astros both be, both deserve to be ahead of them. Although I don't feel the Mets... There's no like true reason to drop the Mets. Although, I just feel like the Dodgers and Astros are better. 3 is the Dodgers. So they're on a 7-game winning streak. And as I mentioned, I can... Well, I actually didn't say this. But I considered putting them at 2 over the Astros. Um, because the Dodgers are red hot right now on... They've won their last seven, um, and but I don't think I could put the Astros lower than two because the, they haven't done anything deserving to fall for number two. And number one, again, is the Yankees. They didn't have the greatest week, but they're still the best team in baseball, and they have an MLB high six All-Stars. So those are my Week 14 MLB Power Rankings. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you agree with my rankings, disagree, and why. I do my best to post as often as possible. And I will see you in the next video.